Kristen, in regards to the sub aquifer over here at the pit, um, what is the projected life of the Humboldt pit with the current um, you know, high grade ore that you're using now? And, and at to what point where you get beyond the thermal plane where it's no longer going to be able to use? Okay, so right now we're actually doing that modeling to see, you know, if for some reason, like Matt said, and Dan said, we're still exploring, if we were to find something else, it's all based on modeling. So we take the data we've collected, how much can we put in there where we're still maintaining that, it's called a chemocline actually, where the, um, there's really no oxygen below it, and it's, the, it's industry best practice to put sulfide tails underwater as we're doing and so we're looking at that right now to see what kind of capacity there could actually be. So we don't have a number. Can we make the seven year? Oh, absolutely. We wouldn't have gotten a permit without without already showing that we're fine now. What we're looking at is that if for some reason we were to find additional, you know, another resource or you know what I mean, and develop another mine, could we actually could we bring it there? I mean, that's something that of course we'd want to know. Um, so we're looking at what, what, what is that total capacity of that pit where we'll still have the clean water that we do on top. You know, like and, there's and at the end of life of the pit being used for the uh, tailings, what will the cover be? Well, right now, I, I think that, that would, we'd have to look at that. I don't know that there has to be a cap on it. There could be a cap on it. We would put a, a soil cap or something.